Welcome to Amazing Psychology. I'm Priya Vergis and it's great to have you back. I really enjoy making the videos for you and I hope you enjoy seeing them as well. I also hope that you're enjoying your IGNU course and you've really made progress in studies. Um, if you have any concerns with your learning or with the topics that I am taking right now, please do leave me a message down below in the comments section. So without wasting more time, we're just going to get started on today's topic, which is about the concepts, the characteristics and the adjustments during the infancy phase. The concepts, characteristics and adjustments during the infancy period may seem like a very small topic to you, but it has been asked several times in combination with other topics. So let's look at this. You can see that the characteristics has been asked for a, as a five mark question in combination with the physical and psychological hazards during this stage. Um, the physical and psychological hazards we will be taking during the next class. Um, and uh, you can also see that the definition of infancy has been asked a couple of times and as well as that the concept and the adjustments have also been asked several times. So let's just delve into the topic and see what this actually means. All right, so I hope you're on page 31 of the course book because I am on page 31 and we have just started unit 3 of Lifespan Psychology, the first book of Lifespan Psychology. If you can just scroll up to the section 3.2, there's the concept of infancy period mentioned there. This is what we're going to look at first. So as we all know, a child goes through various stages, um, as in an, a human being goes through various stages from the time of birth. It includes infancy, childhood, adolescence, adulthood, and finally we end in old age and then the death happens. So infancy happens to be the very first period after the child is born and it is um, between the time of birth to the first two years of growth of the child. It's also a time period when there is rapid development and though every child develops at its own pace and its own rate, there are certain orderly and predictable patterns that we can see in the growth of children generally from the time of birth to the age of two years. Let's just take a look at some of the common things that you see in two-year-old two children. Two-year-old children can eat, they cry, they move, they babble, they play, kick and smile. But they are also absent in qualities such as the ability to speak, the ability to act with intention, to reason, to be self-conscious or to even experience emotions like guilt, empathy and pride. So some notable psychologists who have worked on the infancy period are Sigmund Freud, Eric Erikson and Jean Piaget. We'll be looking at all of their works in detail further along in the same book. But for now, this is all we need to know about the concept of the infancy period. The first is that it's the very first period. It uh, happens between the time of birth till about two years old. And there are some predictable patterns within this growth. And also, uh, there are certain things that children during the ages of zero to two show certain characteristics and there are so the, the absence of certain characteristics are also there. These are the things that you need to mention when the concept is asked. Let's move on to the next section which is the characteristics of the infancy period. Uh, the infancy period is the shortest period of the whole lifespan development. There. It's from birth to two years. And this is generally the time when the mother uh, gives birth to the child and the child comes out into the world after spending nine months in the mother's womb. It's also a time when a whole lot of adjustment is required from the infant. And um, the adjustment as in the child has just been born from one environment, which is the mother's womb and entered into a completely different environment. So some level of adjustment to the new environment is required. Most infants usually complete that adjustment phase within the first two weeks. But in the cases of uh, infants who have been born premature, the time for adjustment will be more. Infancy is also a time of plateau in development. What that means is there is rapid growth when the child is in the mother's womb. But once they enter into the new environment of the world, they suddenly have to adjust to this new environment. And therefore, that rapid growth that was seen starts to go down. Children lose weight after birth and are less healthy than what they were at the time of birth and towards the end of this period the child starts gaining weight accustomed gets accustomed to the environment and starts developing once again 
it is also a period when future predictions ha can be made so what you mean by that is um, when you look at the way the child is developing you can make some future predictions about the child are they hitting all the phases that are regularly seen in other children during that age if they are then by this period they will start talking or by this period they will start crawling or turning around that kind of predictions can be made based on the assessments that are done during the earlier period infancy is also a time when there are lots of hazards especially physical and psychological hazards the reason why the hazards occur is because the child needs to adjust to the new environment so what do you mean by physical adjustment that actually refers to uh, adjustment to the new environment that the child is born into and the uh, psychological adjustments actually refer to uh, the child being influenced by the attitude of the family members around it and the care it gets from the mother all of this plays a significant part in the child's psychological development now let's just see what are the different adjustments that are made during the infancy period as i told you before when a child is born from the mother's womb and enters into the world a whole lot of adjustments have to be made so the child can live in the new environment let's look at what those adjustments are there are four major adjustments during the infancy period and they are described below the first is temperature changes now you may not be knowing this the mother's womb carries a constant temperature of 100 degree fahrenheit and once the child is born into the environment into a new world the temperature might vary from 60 to 70 degree Fahrenheit so the child's body has to adapt to the new temperature that it is in the second is breathing till the time of birth the child depends on the mother through the umbilical cord to receive the oxygen and all the nutrients that it needs but once the umbilical cord is cut the child must start breathing on its own the third is sucking and swallowing now the child till at that point has been getting all of its uh, nourishment through the umbilical cord but now the child must learn how to suck and swallow so it can get the nourishment it needs and it is this adjustment trouble that the child has that causes it to lose weight after it's born then finally we have the elimination till the point of birth the child's elimination all the food waste i mean uh, from whatever has been digested used to be removed through the mother's umbilical cord itself but from the time of birth, the child has to use its own digestive system and eliminate. So that too is a point of adjustment for children. I hope these topics were very clear to you. They are small, but they are also very important. They've been asked several times for the exams. We just covered the concept of infancy, what the characteristics are, and also the adjustments that infants have to go through once they are born. If you have any questions at all, please leave me the questions in the comments. And please remember to like, share and subscribe. Also, please do leave me a message once in a while because it encourages me to make more videos for you. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.